speaking of traveling to Indonesia, Sabang, Indonesia, a paradise on a powder keg. On July 29, 2025 today, a magnitude 6.5 earthquake rocked after the 2004 Boxing Day catastrophe. Is Sambag starting down another disaster? At 1.41 a.m. local time, the magnitude 6.5 earthquake struck at a shallow 10-kilometer depth, which would be about 6 miles, felt weakly in Baghdad, Asa, and even the Maldives. No damage or injury and no tsunami warning, says Indonesia. But look what I found. Here's the water column. One boy is going off there. Yeah, there was a sharp popping, an uplift of the waves. Was there a small tsunami or was it caused by weather? But this earthquake, today 6.5, hit the Sunda Trench, where in 2004 they had a magnitude 9.3 earthquake. That monster killed 230,000 people across 14 countries. Sabang so sits along the Sumatra fault zones. Yeah, they got multiple faults in this location where the Indian plate dives under the Burma microplate. In 2004, a 1,300 kilometer rupture, the fault line ruptured, unleashed a 30 meter waves, multiple waves, which is about 98 feet, wiping, wiping out Ban Ban Ek in 15 minutes, $10 billion in damage. 1.7 million displaced. 1.7 million people were displaced from that earthquake. This 6.5 was too weak for a tsunami, but a magnitude 8 mega thrust quake could flood Sambang's uh, 43,000 residents in minutes. Like Watertown's tornado storm or Petrolia's 4.3 earthquake jolt, Sambang's quake struck fast. And unlike Thailand's border war, no lives were lost. But the 2004 tsunami haunts Isa. Monthly school drills and dart boys now guard the coast. Yet, in a TEWS struggles with delays, as seen in the 2018 Sulesi, a 10% chance of a magnitude 7 point or larger quake still looms. Uh, could it trigger the next big one? There's always a chance, there's always a 10% chance that there could be a larger earthquake coming. Here we see an image of the students doing the tsunami drills all lined up. Yeah, and knowing what they need to do in case something like that ever happens again. Heaven forbid. Many users on X like Info BMKO track Sambang's tremors, echoing the 2004 nightmare with 135 quakes every year. And that's near Asa. And there's always the liquefaction risk. Sam bangs on edge. Like Moore's 5.0 earthquake, this quake spared lives. But the Sunda Trench never sleeps. Will Sam Bang survive the next wave? Can Sam Bang outrun a tsunami wrath? You can check out I N A T E W S dot B M K dot G dot G O dot I D for alerts and follow UN News for updates. Subscribe for more disaster breakdowns and watch our water town storm and the Petrolia earthquake videos to see chaos unfolding. Sandbags faults are alive and don't ignore the warning. Always be prepared for disaster. Please like, share, and subscribe. And God bless you all. Bye.